Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart with Slabtown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas, uh, where we produce tiny houses, park models, just a variety of portable cabins, structures of all types. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick tour of a house that we built several, several months ago. This is called the Partney House. Uh, this unit is 10 feet wide and 22 feet long. It's built on a steel I-beam frame, has two axles. Uh, this unit built like a site built house, uh, insulated, wired, plumbed, framed just like a site built but does have RV type connections set up for 110 power um, with, uh, with the 1220 connection as well for a dryer that you'll see inside. Uh, this house, uh, it has a red metal roof, it has pine log siding on the exterior. Now as I said this house was built several months ago and has not been stained yet. The owner actually, uh, she wanted a little bit of a weathered look so this house is going to weather out some before it gets a clear coat put on it. Um, it's been sitting on display for several months and she hasn't found the correct lot to put it on. So uh, you'll see a little bit of, uh, uh, just a little bit of, of wear on the floors. You'll see some footprints and stuff as we ease inside. So uh, please disregard that if you will. And bear with me. We'll move around here and get another quick shot of the outside. And we'll ease inside real quick. You can see just a real quick little, real small little porch area, just kind of an entryway. We have another arched window up in the loft. This house, of course, it has two lofts, one on each end. Kitchen is in this end, as you'll see in a second. And uh, please excuse the shaky hands. We've got a solid wood door here. Okay, and again, please forgive. Uh, we've got some tape on the ladders to protect from footprints. A little bit of tracks on the floor. Now, this flooring is actual true hardwood flooring. This is not a laminate product. And this house, as most of ours, does have the knotty pine tongue and groove car siding. Of course, this is the living area that, that you can see here. Uh, we have a heat and air combo unit there in the wall. You get a shot of the back loft. And of course, the bathroom area in the end. Let me pan around and get a shot of the kitchen. And uh, there you can see a, a ladder going up at the end of the bar that goes up into the, uh, the front loft. And we have a little bar area here kind of for a couple of stools. As the kitchen is uh, it's kind of squeezed into this little nook over here. But as you can see, I do have an apartment size gas range. Um, this particular customer just wanted a one, just a single basin sink. And a pretty decent sized fridge. Of course we have upper cabinets on the other side of this bar area as you can see and then we have cabinets that wrap around this bar uh, have a 19 gallon electric water heater hidden under these cabinets here as well so you can see uh, maybe get a shot of we have some wine glass holders on either side of the little bar area here uh, if I'm moving too fast I apologize don't want to make anybody dizzy and of course the ladder for the upper loft. I uh, apologize for not having any lighting here, but I'll take you in, I hope you can see real quick. Of course vanity, uh, that's a pretty wide vanity for a tiny house. Do have a full size shower, that's a three foot by three foot shower stall. Full size toilet, it's actually a pretty nice layout, it's not cramped at all. Um, this has a, a true tile floor, ceramic tile. Uh, See the closet area here and we have a stacked washer and dryer and that's where I said we had to add a 220 service just for the dryer for depending on where this house gets set up. You can see the electrical service. Let me step up real quick and just give you a quick shot into the loft. Let's see, then we have the hardwood flooring that follows through here as well. Another shot of the back loft. Quite a bit of room. Okay, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed the quick video. Sorry for uh, for the tape, the messy floors, and no lighting. Um, as always, if you have any questions about one of our units or would like to talk about a custom build, 
uh, please uh, contact me through the tiny house blog email me directly at ozarksbest at yahoo.com or call me anytime 870-213-5310 thanks for watching